We turn now to a story from track and field. It's a sport that teaches hard work and dedication, all while competing against others and yourself. In Sun Prairie, one young lady is learning all of that, along with a couple life lessons that run beyond the track. Excited for your race? Yeah. They say the key to running a great race is to visualize yourself being successful. When we get to here, can you do a countdown of three, two, one to when we get to the curve? If so, then the mile should be no problem for Mia Zutter. And on this day... And then you're doing the mile? Yeah. Are you doing the mile too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. She gets to run with her sister, Natalie. It's definitely brought us closer. She and I get to like rely on each other a little bit more. But as they take to the track, I'm not here to compete. Only one time counts. I'm here to help my sister. Last year, Mia's vision deteriorated after being diagnosed with Stargardt's disease. Can you scoot over now? A genetic disorder that left her legally blind. <laughs> In this tandem, Mia is the legs. When I'm facing the sun, I couldn't see anything. And Natalie is her eyes. So when I'm on that part of the track, I'm relying on her to tell me where to go. If I'm going faster, she'll keep up with me. If she's like, let's slow down, I'm like, okay, good idea, because I don't want to be tired. Mia's vision isn't slowing her down on or off the track. As she adjusts to this life-changing condition, she's reconnecting with her first passion. When I'm skating out here alone, I had my vision before, so I know how long it is. I'm amazed that she's still skating. I can't imagine what it's like for her, to what she's seeing, or how, you know, how it feels out there in space. But she's determined. She always has been. So it doesn't really surprise me, I guess, that if she wants to do something, she's going to do it. As Natalie runs high school track for Sun Prairie, Mia wants to follow in her footsteps. Excellent, Mia. There you go. But Mia still needs a little help around the track. When we get to here, can you do a countdown of three, two, one to when we get to the curve? And then when we're over there, can you do three, two, one before we get to the straightaway? So her big sister keeps her on course. I'm amazed. We're so proud and happy. Happy for her that she found something that she is successful at and that she enjoys and that she, you know, can gain some confidence from. You had 6.43. Okay. I didn't PR. Oh, I didn't you PR. did great. Yeah. It's okay. You don't have to PR every time. Yeah, you did great. I'm so Thanks. proud of you. Most people would be discouraged not to reach their goal. Mia is motivated to do better. I try to stay positive. I'm not going to let it get in the way of me not doing something. Thank you so much. More importantly, she can visualize her goal, proving there's more to Mia than meets the eye. Good job. Good job. Nice job, Mia. Thank you. Mia is overcoming obstacles every day, but her vision steps in the way of one thing, getting her driver's license. Mia says she's pretty bummed out about that, but even though she won't be able to sit behind the wheel, she's clearly in control of where her life is is going. Andy, very inspirational story. Great to meet her and her entire family. Natalie, too, helping her out, kind of doing whatever a sister or brother would do in that situation, helping, Absolutely. helping each other out. Love the bond between the two sisters. And then on top of that, the ice skating. I mean, that's that's phenomenal. That's the kicker. And she, she has very limited vision. The, the, the bright ice certainly helps her uh, kind of see her way around. And she has some familiarity with that. But a lot of people uh, wouldn't be able to handle such a big adjustment like that. But just another example of somebody, another young person excelling through sports, uh, you know, being very mature and acting beyond their age. Very good. All right, Matt, thank you very much for that story. And we'll be right back.